Blessings and peace, my BKLA family. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Let me know if you can hear me. It's been a while. Good morning. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Can you hear me good? I got my peppermint oil. Let me know if you can hear me. If I'm too loud, if the music is too loud, or if it's too low. People don't have church, so we'll see who, who joins in. your peppermint oil, clear any mucus that you may have. I know it's <clears throat> 10 56 and I'll definitely repeat this, you know, at 11. But um, if you're here now, you know, might as well. Maybe I should just light it. Happy Sunday. Tell a friend to tell a friend. My name is Natifa Cox, and I am your yoga teacher on Sundays and Wednesdays. Sundays I'll be here at 11 a.m., and Wednesdays I'll be here at 7 p.m. So let me get a thumbs up or a heart if you can hear me <clears throat> i don't know if the turtle neck is choking me a little bit but um i'm gonna go ahead and take this last few minutes to get some water um i ask that you turn your cell phones off um with the volume or any notifications if you can just so you're not distracted i'm gonna get some agua
So I totally locked myself, told my family to just lock the door so I can't go that way. So plan B, go this way and get some water. Hydrate, water is life. is life. Cheers. I don't know why, but I definitely feel a little nervous, you know? So work with me, breathe with me. We're going to definitely start with some breathing exercises. Letting all the negative energy out. Shake those fingertips to me. Shake, 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 shake. Let's see. Yes, yay, thank you for being ready. Sitting upright in a comfortable position. Inhale, inhale, again. Clear all mucus from your nasal passage. Get your peppermint oil, apply it to your wrists. Rub it together, inhale. Yes, breathe, inhale, exhale. I like to place my hands together to allow energy to pass through. So let's take a few deep belly breaths here. As you inhale, I ask that you allow the rib cage to expand. And as you exhale, Allow the belly button to sink into the spine. Again, inhale. Fill up the lungs and exhale. Go ahead and make that sound. Yes, and exhale. You should have a pleasant look on your face. So taking the tip of your tongue and placing it on the back of your two front teeth. And that's going to allow your jaws to relax during our yoga exercises. It's very important that you allow um, oxygen to flow through you. And that will release toxins. Yes. So inhaling. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Let's take a few more breaths here. Make any adjustments that you may need to. Inhale. Exhale. And inhale. And exhale. Keeping the breath going, I ask that you repeat something positive to yourself about yourself. So what I normally say in class is, I am the nourisher of the universe, and the universe nourishes me. So you can repeat this out loud or to yourself. I am the nourisher of the universe, and the universe nourishes me. Again. Inhale. I am the nourisher of the universe, and the universe nourishes me. Exhale. Drop the crown of the head here. I want you to repeat our mantra, our affirmation. I am the nourisher of the universe and the universe nourishes me. Good, from here, walk your fingertips towards the screen, reaching, reaching, stretching, good. Inhale here, exhale. Inhale, exhale. No way to go. No way to be. 
blocking out any noises in the background, whether it be a police car or a dog barking. Inhale, exhale, stretching, walking those fingertips. Inhale, exhale. Good. Using your hands to gently walk you back. Stacking each vertebrae back on top of each other. Let's go ahead and switch legs. And we'll simply go ahead and reach towards our friends. Good morning, blessings and peace to everyone, BKLA family. My name is Natifa and I am your yoga teacher. Sundays at 11 a.m. and Wednesdays at 7 p.m. Inhale. Exhale. And exhale. Two more breaths here. Allowing the rib cage to expand as you inhale, feeling that stretch in the gluteus maximus. Good. And walking the hands back, stacking each vertebrae back on top of one another. Get those fingertips ready. We're gonna apply them to our shoulders. Doing shoulder rolls, reaching our elbows together, inhale. And then our wrists will touch a round big circle, inhale. First time I did this, it was definitely difficult for me. I'm not gonna lie, it still is. So take your time, you can go as fast or as slow. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Now we're gonna reverse that circle. Wrist touching in the back of your head. Elbows touching around. Don't forget to breathe. I welcome you to close your eyes. Do what you can. Do what you will. At any moment, you want to rest. I welcome you. Let's do two more here. Good. Let those arms release in front. Inhale. As you inhale, I want you to bring all the energy towards you as you exhale, push. And inhale, bring it in. And push. Inhale. Push any negative energy away. Let's go to the sides, push. And reach. And let's go ahead and push up. And reach. Good. Smile for me. And two more, reach, reach. Go ahead, circle those wrists. Inhale, good. And reverse the circles, exhale. Good, reach all the way up. And exhale, drop your right arm. Inhale, reach up. And exhale, drop your left arm and both arms. Reach up again. Exhale, right arm. Exhale, left arm. And reach up. Inhale. Exhale, switch arms. And exhale. Hope that feels as good for you as it does for me. Let's do it one more time. Inhale, release all the tension, all the stress in those shoulders and exhale and exhale good taking your time gently we're gonna go to our backs good and stomach muscles going to the spine rocking back and forth inhale exhale Inhale, exhale. 
exhale. Good. Reaching those feet to sky. Placing your hands on the back of your hamstrings, pulling your legs a little forward and flex those feet and point the toes. Flex and point. Going as fast or as slow as you may need to. Good. Welcome, everyone. Welcome all. Circle those ankles. Good. Bending those knees back into your chest. Gentle massage here. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Keeping your right leg knee into your chest. And you're going to extend your left leg down. Checking it out, making sure it's not swaying to the right or swaying to the left. It would look like this. Make sure your leg is in line with your spine. Good. And go ahead and stretch that right leg up to the ceiling, making it as straight as you can. So not focusing on my flexibility, on yours. If your leg is straight here, this is what I want you to do. Lifting your scapulas off the floor. Yes. Left hand on the ankle, right hand on the thigh. The back of the thigh. Inhale. And exhale. Good. And placing your left hand we're going to do a knee down twist. Placing your left hand on your right knee or opposite. Don't stress yourself out about which way you're facing or, you know, as long as it's opposite. Good. From here, your left hand is placing, reaching, using gravity to push your right knee down to the floor. Your right arm is opening. It feels really good. The last thing you want to do is turn your chin to your right arm. So stay. I'm going to rotate just so you can see what your upper body should look like. Inhale. Just to maximize the stretch here, I want you to extend that right leg that was once bent. Now we're going to extend it straight. Left hand more so on the ankle or the calf muscle. That bottom leg is still extended straight down and we are in a spiral. Close the eyes here. Relax your jaw. Let's take two more breaths here. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Go ahead and pull that right knee into your chest. And we're going to switch. Left leg in, placing our right arm onto our knee. Opening our left arm on the diagonal. Pinkies up. Nowhere to go. Nowhere to be. The knee should be in line with the belly button. That's the goal. But if you're not there, that's fine. Inhale. If your back cracks, enjoy it. Hope you guys are doing good. Feels good. I want you to stay, hang out there. Just gonna check in here, see what the vibes is. Perfect.
keeping that left knee down, twisting. This is our knee down twist. Good. We're going to go ahead and straighten that left leg. Amen. I am the nourisher of the universe, and the universe nourishes me. Two more breaths here. Good. Gently and gracefully pulling that left knee back into your chest, adding your right knee to your left knee. Go ahead and hug those knees, hug those knees. Stay here. Good. On your next inhale, go ahead and place your fingertips on the top of your knees. We're going to go ahead and do a few sit-ups, yoga sit-ups. As you inhale, lift the head. As you exhale, press everything back down a lot. And inhale, exhale. Inhale. Exhale. On your own timing. Breathe. Two more. Good. You feel a little bit more advanced as you inhale, exhale, reach everything out. Inhale, exhale. Good. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Reach. Inhale, exhale. Reach. Exhale, inhale, exhale, two more, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, good, full body extension here, good job, feel the burn, every time we do sit-ups, a little stretch of the stomach muscles out, any cobra, or baby cobra, Rocking with Baby Cobra for a few breaths. Go ahead and rotate the neck here. Giving thanks for your neck, your spine, and reverse the circle. Inhale. Now let's push up to full adult Cobra. Good. Inhale. Yes, give me two circles of the neck here. Inhale, close your eyes. Reverse. Good. And relax down here. Reaching your right hand for your right leg. Your right foot. And inhale. Hope you guys are doing good, feeling good. Inhale. Exhale. Two more breaths here. Pushing your pelvis into the floor. I like to keep my knees touching, but here on the floor, 
Just separate your knees a little bit. You definitely maximize the stretch and release. And reaching your left hand, your left foot, inhale. Go ahead and turn your right ear to the floor. Pushing your pelvis and your quads into the floor. Two more breaths here. Nowhere to go. Nowhere to do. As much as we may want to go outside, we can. So we're making the best of it. Thank you for joining BKLA. Thank you for guys for being here. So pushing back into child's pose. From here, placing your hands on the floor. I want you to arch your back and squeeze the stomach muscles in and reach forward. You can keep the knees together here or separate. Child's pose is a natural face up. It has so many benefits. So let's hang out here for a little bit. Take about four deep, very brief breaths. Stay, inhale, and exhale. If that hurts your knees, go ahead and place your knees wider than your mat. That's fine. That was choking me. Boy. Happy Sunday. Good. Making any adjustments that you may need to. Child's pose and hang out here. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Inhale. And exhale. Good. So, my memory of yoga definitely started back when I was 18 in college. And one of my favorite things to do, for whatever reason, okay, hope you guys can see me. I don't know what just happened, but we're rocking and rolling. So yes, this is one of my favorite moves that really helped me with my lower back. And we're gonna, like a cobra, we're gonna stay close to the floor, maybe make it a sound. And reaching up. Inhale and exhale, you're gonna take, keep your chin up. Take everything down to the floor, arch your back, reach your back into child's pose, inhale. And exhale. Exhale, close your eyes, chin. Inhale. As fast as slow as you may need to. Relaxing your jaw. Shouldn't have a serious look on your face. Let's do two more. Exhale down. Inhale. Exhale. Exhale down. You should feel it in your arms. Good. Let's stay here. So, you can reach your arms down by your side and even go for more so the crown of your head. Here. Feeling the connection at the top of the spine. Bottom of the spine. Inhale. Two more breaths here. Inhale. Making any adjustments. 
adjustments that you may need to make. From here, let's gently and gracefully go into tabletop. Loving tabletop, tightening the stomach muscles here, stacking the shoulder and wrist on both sides. You can make your arms a little wide here, as wide as your neck. Inhale, knees are about hip width apart. Inhale as you arch. Exhale as you curve the spine. Belly button to spine. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Nowhere to go. Nowhere to be. Literally. But we're here together. Good. Let's do about eight more here. It's really lubricating the spine on your own time. Anytime you feel any pain, please stop. Good. Stabling the spine here. We're going to go ahead and do some hip circles. Releasing those hips if you've been sitting a lot or you've been standing a lot. If you're finding yourself just walking around in your home. Go ahead and lubricate those hips. And reverse. Again, you can go as fast or as slow as you need to. Just the hips. Isolating. Just you and your hips. Good. At this time, we're going to end here, reaching your right arm up. And down. Inhale. Alternating sides. Inhale. Reaching. The star on your chest goes up to the sky. Inhale and exhale. For your own time. Let's do four more. Thank you for joining. Sending some positive energy out into the world while we're here together collectively. Inhale. As you stable the spine, making sure again your shoulders are stacked on top of your wrist. You don't want to be here doing anything or here. That was dramatic, but it's real. Definitely want to avoid any injuries. So if I could try to get my feet in the frame. Oh, here we go. Uh, as we inhale, we're going to look over our right shoulder and point our right toe out and exhale, come back center. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Look over your shoulder. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Arms are burning. Exhale. That's good. Exhale. Let's do four more here. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Hope that was four. And reaching the hips back. Take a few deep breaths here. I am the nourisher of the universe. And the universe love the universe. Reaching those fingertips forward, feeling if you've ever been to one of my classes. This is a time I enjoy. I walk around and I gently apply pressure to your lower back and upper back. 
So as you inhale, you know, if you have someone in a room with you who ain't doing nothing and just looking at you, have, have them press your lower back here. As you reach your hips down, you're also reaching your fingertips forward. Two more breaths here. Good. Right away, straight into mountain, also known as downward dog. Let's walk those feet. As fast or as slow as you need to go. Pushing those palms into the floor, reaching the hips up to the ceiling. Let's do both feet up, both feet down. Both feet up, both feet down, both feet up, both feet down, both feet up, both feet down. On your next inhale, rise up, raise the right leg. Just keep it up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go ahead and bend the knee here. Opening the hips up. Good. Gently, gracefully bring everything back together using the belly button to connect the spine. Inhale, let's let up. Let's go ahead and rotate that ankle here. Reverse. Good. Bending the knee. Opening the hips up. Feeling the burn, feeling the burn, straight into plank here. And descending to the floor here. Keeping those elbows close. Pushing back into child's pose. We're doing good. We're doing good. Feeling good. Feeling good. Giving yourself some props, some gratitude, some love. You can stand up. You know, classes ain't an hour no more. You know, it's 35, 45 minutes. So, you can go to the top of your mat. I'm going to stay here. So, you can see me reaching up, hands to sky, and exhale. Taking your time. Inhale, and then exhale. See, it a little short, I can't reach all the way up. But every time you come down, you're gonna alternate the cross. Yes, yeah? so inhale up, and exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. We did a lot of work on our arms today. Inhale, exhale, inhale, keep those arms up, and we're going to place our hands to heart, inhale, exhale, feeling the heart beating, inhale, exhale, again, taking a moment. Love yourself. Taking a moment to send positive energy into the universe. Sending both arms up, reaching, diving forward. Swan dive as you inhale. Lift your head up and release. Walk those hands into plank. Good. Walk them back. Exhale, reach. 
and drop the head. You're going to bend the knees here, roll up. Inhale, up. Hands to heart, exhale. Inhale, arms up. Diving forward like a swan. Exhale. Inhale. Hands to shins. Exhale. Inhale, walk those hands to plank and pull back. Bend those knees here. And then slowly roll up. Leaving the head for last. Belly button to spine. Rolling up. Let's hang out here. Sway right to left. Head is almost in line with your hips. You can hang over all the way like a rag doll. Just take a few breaths here. Feeling the wind, especially if you bust a little sweat. Good. Rolling up, tucking the spine, the lower spine. Good. Reaching up. Hands to heart, feeling the beat, yes. Stepping into my favorite warrior pose. Warrior, warrior, warrior. As I normally say in my classes, which are the ones I had, you know, so you guys can see me better, maybe. The whole body, yes. We're fighting a battle. You know, whether it's spiritually, emotionally, financially, it's many battles. So we have to attack it, right? It's a time for love. And you know, fortunately, it's a time for war. So here we are. Gonna feel that burn, you know? Gonna shed some tears, maybe. Rotating the wrists, the palms up. Good. Palms, focusing on the palms. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll be here every Sunday, 11 a.m. Wednesday, 7 p.m. My name is Atifa Cox on Facebook, but I'm here with you through BKLA. Reaching both palms facing each other. Inhale. As you reach up, reach forward. Pushing into that left knee, or right knee. The back foot is turned out. Good. From here, reaching forward to the floor. You have your block here. You can use it, you know, if you can't reach to the floor. Or if you have any wrist issues, you go ahead and make a fist. Making any adjustments. You may need to opening up the chest, reaching towards the ceiling. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Give me a nice little neck roll here. My neck is cracking. Guess that's a good thing. Inhale. Exhale. You can reverse the circle here. It's a little challenging. You know, if you don't have your balance, this is a little advanced. But when you get there, it feels so good. Inhale as you come up. Exhale as you reach those fingertips back. Inhale, reaching forward more out. Good. As your leg trembles, you're going to reach forward. If you're feeling nice and balanced, go ahead and reach those arms down by your side. Uh, inhale. Exhale. Boy. And slowly roll up, reaching the arms up, hands to chest, good, transition, turn your back leg out, and toes going forward, palms, wrists, the balance of life, taking care of your family, I hope everybody's getting 
Enough vitamin C. Drinking your tea. Lots of tea. All kind of tea. And soups and everything. Any mucus that you have in your body, please expose of it. That means blow it out. Spit it out. Get that mucus out. Inhale, drop them back on, reaching forward. Close your eyes here, making sure your knee is in line with your ankle as well. You don't want to be too far forward or too far, far back. So yes, it hurts, it burns, but you don't want to pain as, you know, you feel like you're going to go to the hospital. Okay, at any moment, if you want to rest, please, I welcome you to go into child's pose. And you can join us back when you're ready and reach it up. of the universe and the universe nurtures me. <sighs> Inhale through your nose and exhale. Feeling the burn. Reaching forward, inhale. It burns me too. Good. Exhale, release. Ah, releasing the spine, dropping the hips. Making any adjustments you may need to. Let's go ahead. Hope everybody got down to the floor safely. Safety first, you know. Rocking those hips. Last but not least. Last but not least, reaching up and stretching towards the camera. I don't know what is happening here. We only have a few. So yeah, I'm gonna keep going for the last few minutes. And reaching forward. Reaching, reaching your fingertips towards your BK and family. And then giving yourself a gentle massage here on top of your feet. You can touch your toes great. If not, go ahead and press your ankle down. Your calves. This is just a gentle massage here. Again, this was a point in the class that I would walk around and apply pressure to the lower back, shoulders, middle back. Flex the feet here, reaching the toes back. Good, reaching up. Walking up. We're going to go ahead and take that right leg, cross it over the left. Open up the left arm, pull that right knee into the chest. Taking that right hand, placing it, stay. I'm just going to turn just so you can see. Pressing up and turning, looking over your shoulder, inhale. If you're more advanced, 
Go ahead and tuck the other leg in. And you can do a nice neck roll here. Hope you guys feel relaxed. Good. Grabbing holds of those ankle or that right ankle. Or left, depending on where you are, it's fine. And kiss your knee. Go for it, go for it, go for it, go for it. Good job. And reach up. And stretching forward all the way to roll back up. Taking that left foot, crossing it over. Opening up that right arm, that left arm, depending on where you're facing. Inhale, no pressure. Exhale, fingertips behind on the floor, twisting. And if you're feeling advanced today and tomorrow, tuck that bottom leg in. Inhale. Stretch, reaching up. You should go further than you did the first time. Good. Inhale. Exhale. This time we're going to place our hands to heart. And I want to say, and I am going to say, I honor the light that shines in you, which also shines in me. Namaste. I welcome you to stay on your mat and do a full body extension and just relax. You know, take this time. Don't make it end here. You know, for you, just relax. Take about five or ten minutes to do nothing. Thank you guys. Love you guys for watching.